Today we are in Paris, we're here for a couple days. This is actually our second day. So I'll share you the beer art, what we did on the first day. And yeah, we're just exploring, shopping, going to some fun vintage stores today, going to good eats. And yeah, so I'll share you what we get up to, but very exciting, nice weather as well. So super lucky and happy to be here. The first stop was Maison Margiela. The Maison Margiela store in Paris is unreal. They have everything, like everything that I've ever wanted, they have in the store, which is amazing. They have so much on offer, and I honestly would recommend it. If you like Margiela to go to the store and just check it out. It's so beautiful, the staff is so friendly, and yeah, they have like everything from the bag to the shoes to the fragrances, and it was so beautifully curated, so I would definitely recommend the store. It's just so beautiful. Let's see. Oh, nice. The next stop was Courage, and at Courage have the nicest pieces, and they're such high quality, like the ribbing, the detail, the material, such high quality that I definitely really want to invest into this brand. I tried on the most beautiful pieces, um, and it was so lovely, but the price is quite expensive for the tops but I generally think that it's worth the money. So I would definitely say that I will be investing into this brand in the future. And I've seen a couple um, on sale online that I definitely would love to cop. I think it's very elegant and it's a very feminine brand. So I love to, I love to see it. And it was just, yeah, I was a big fan of this. Um, they had amazing silhouettes and it was just really lovely. Like a lot of star shit. I'm more of the trips to Florida, order the orders, views of the water, straight from a page of your favorite author. And the weather's so breezy. Man, why can't life always be this easy? She in the mirror dancing so sleazy. I get a call, like, where are you, easy? And try to hit you with the old wacky till I get flashed by the paparazzi. Man, these niggas got me. I hate these niggas more. We then went to the Archivist. The Archivist is such a cool store. It's very much more like a men's vintage and archive store. And I found the most beautiful jacket, this Helmet Lung from 2001 um, denim jacket in perfect quality. Um, so I had to cop it. I was super excited to find this. And it's mainly a store for guys, but I was super happy um, to find some stuff. And they have some proper stills in there, like a lot of different brands, a lot of cool books. And the guys in there were so friendly and super helpful. The next store, I could have spent so much money in that, and this was a regular. They had the nicest women's vintage and archive fashion pieces in there. It was amazing. I couldn't film too much because they didn't really like us filming in that, but they had a vintage JPG, vintage Dior, vintage Prada, vintage Miu Miu, Celine. They had everything. Such high quality. They had the shoes, clothes. There was so much on offer. Like, I was in heaven. They had, like so many shoes a lot of smaller sizes so if you're a size 37 and you fit in these smaller size shoes definitely check it out but they did have a lot, a lot of 39s as well which is my size so i was in heaven and i was having a ball trying these on especially these like tom ford gucci i was amazed then you had these which were prada ones and then you had my favorite ones which were the dior ones and i was so close to buying these like these camo diors 
for Unreal and such good quality and they were like a nice little kitten heel and because I'm quite tall it fit perfectly but I had to sadly leave them behind this time but definitely check out the store if you are ever um, in Paris it's super cool and I think they have two locations as well the content and b-roll that i've just shared i actually had the best time in paris and it's definitely the best time that i've gone to paris so i would highly recommend all the spots that i went to and i can just imagine if you're going during like fashion week or anything those events would be insane and there'd be so much cool what fashion -y people because we bumped into so many cool fashion -y locals around there so if you're into that type of thing you'll love it and definitely was super cool I'm going to share with you my pickups. I've made two purchases. It was really hard to restrain and not purchase a lot of stuff because as you could see, like the Corrosia's tops were amazing. There were so many nice um, things out there and the really archive and designer fashion was immense. Like they had so much options and actually at quite good price points. So it was really hard to resist. And I definitely think I'll be going back again with a lot more money so I can just do a big spend and big shop because a lot of the stuff out there was such good quality and I would highly recommend. So now into my pickups, I will share with you what I've got. So the first pickup was from a store called Archivist. This is like a archive designer and just cool um, fashion store, mainly for men, um, but they have some bits in there for women as well, especially a lot of smaller sizes. So if you're a bit in between like men's and women's sizing, or if you're like a small, fit into a small men's um, or like stuff oversized. It has a great, a lot of options in there. We initially went there for George and I ended up being the best and walking out with something. So I was super lucky to find this and I wasn't even gonna try it on because I thought, ah, oh, it's a size medium on the hangar. It might not fit me, but it fits really nice. And it was this vintage, well not vintage, archive helmet lang jacket from 2001. It's super nice, super good quality. Like the fact that this is from 2001 and it's withheld its shape and structure is insane. And yeah, I should zoom in on the details, but I am a sucker for like good quality pieces. And yeah, I'm obsessed with this. It's the most perfect beigey neutral color, which will just go over a lot of things. And it's actually like this kind of heavyish and lightweight denim. So you could wear it on the summery days when you want like a layer also it'll be warm enough to, if you wear layers in the winter or maybe not winter but the fall season so it's, it's basically you can get your uses spring summer and fall which is amazing and i absolutely love it it has a little pocket detail here which is i think is different to the newer versions of this jacket that they sell like they only have either double pockets or no pockets added so this one has one pocket detail and i love it and it's super nice so i'll show you how it looks like on i'm super happy that i've managed to find this piece and it was like the best still it was actually a good price it was around 250 euros i believe so um it worked out quite good so yeah very happy with this and it was like a really nice really good cop so i think it'll be lasting in my collection for a long long time The next thing I picked up was from Mesa Margiela. The store was incredible in there. They had such good pieces and if you're definitely after anything from Mesa Margiela, go to the store in Paris because they stock everything. The things that you can't find in London, they have there. So I would highly recommend it. They had all of the candles, all of the scents. Like it was incredible. So of course my candle had been running out. So I picked up a new one and it is called Whispers in the Library. 
This smells so good. I can't even explain the smell, but um, we already started using it. I burnt it yesterday. Oh, it's so nice. It says paper and wax wood, so it's this really woody, nice smell. Like it's just really homely and it smells so good and makes the room smell so good. So I'm super happy with these. And I feel like these candles, they smell so like kind of strong that you only need to light it for a little bit and your whole room will smell like it. So I highly recommend these. I also have a big fan of the Mayo and Goats candles as well, but the replica ones also. And they have such cute packaging, like it looks so nice. I mean, can't really focus on it, but yeah. Super cute. So I would highly recommend these as well, and especially the scent. The other one I had was springtime or summertime in the park, I believe. And that was um, super nice, and that's from the Japanese style one, and it smells amazing. This one says Oxford 1997, so it's from like that old England inspired scent. So, uh, yeah, really like it, <laughs> really nice. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, and comment below, and I'll be back with more videos on a weekly basis, so please stay tuned.